Hello everyone, welcome to Gamer Point. Today I have the Xiaomi Redmi Note 3 and we are going to update it to the MIUI 8. Now I just got the MIUI 8 OTA update 2 days back and I'm going to show you how you can update it and what are some of the new features in this ROM. So let's get started. Now to download the update, you have to go to updater app and download the OTA file or you can click on the update button here from the notification center. Now I'll just quickly download the update file first and skip to the next screen to show you the next steps. So guys now the update is downloaded and the device is ready to reboot. So just click on the reboot now button and the update will start to apply. Now this process can take up to 20 to 25 minutes also. So just don't worry about it. Let the phone reboot and apply the update and it will start in some time. So the updating process is about to complete now. It took almost 20 minutes so I'll again just skip to the next part when the phone restarts. So guys now the update is applied and the phone is restarted. Now as you can see that's the MIUI 8 and here it says the device is updated to MIUI version 8.0.1.0 stable. So the phone is updated. Now let me go to settings and in settings to the about the device page. So here as you can see the security patch level is of August 1st so that's a nice thing. And the Android version is still 5.1.1 that is Lollipop. So we don't get Marshmallow here which is kind of disappointment cause Xiaomi said that the MIUI 8 is based on Android Marshmallow but we still have Lollipop here. So that is what we have. Now one thing I'd like to mention here is that you can update to MIUI 8 via two methods. Either you can update via OTA like I showed or you can flash the ROM manually. If you wanna flash the ROM then I'll give you a link in the description about how you can flash the update manually. But I would prefer updating via OTA only cause it's very convenient. Whereas if you manually flash the ROM then your entire data will be wiped out. So now let me show you some of the new features of MIUI 8. So first thing you will notice is the new notification center which is like this now. We get all the toggles in a row like this so it looks better I would say. Now if we go to settings as you can see the interface here is also slightly changed. And here we get this new feature called dual apps using which you can actually create a second copy of any app you have in your phone like to Facebook account, to WhatsApp account etc. And then we also get this another new feature called second space using which you can create two different profiles in your phone. So you will have two entirely different storage spaces in one phone. Now if we talk about some more changes in this ROM then let me show you here uh, where it is. Yeah, this calculator app also got some changes. As you can see, we get some additional feature methods like uh, currency, scientific, length, etc. So these are some of the small changes for the calculator app. Now if we go next, then here in the security app, the interface is completely changed. It's more clean and easy to use, I would say. Then if we talk about the dialer app, then here also we get a new interface. Here you can search for any name or number for fast search results. And the buttons are also a bit bigger I would say. So yes that's also a welcome change in my opinion cause the old dialer app was a bit ugly. And lastly if we talk about the notes application. Here also we get some new changes and new interface as well. So as you can see we get new interface and some new options like uh, delete, add images, the list view and also some background changes. So these have also get some additional features in my opinion. And overall I would say the icons are also a bit rounder now. So these were some of the new features of the MIUI 8. If you want to know the complete changelog of this update then you can check out the MIUI forums. I would say it's very nice update. We get many exciting features like dual apps etc. So again that's all for this video. If you have any particular questions regarding this update then you can ask them in the comment section. And if you want to see more tech videos like this, then hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye and take care.